Rembrandt had an interesting thing. He was one of the few painters that would, when, when painting, and they always painted exactly what they saw. They didn't try to fix it in post, <laughs> right? They sort of painted what they saw. So most of the painters, when they would paint with window light as their source, of course, if, I'm, if, if here's my window and, and you're painting me here, and they had a guy sitting like this, leaning toward the window like this, his hand is closer to the window. In most of their paintings, that hand would be brighter than the face because it's closer. Rembrandt had a way of doing this where that hand wasn't brighter than the face. And the way he did it was the way he placed his subject in his studio. He had, he had little strips of columns in his windows. And he, had, and he had fabrics that he could bring up from the floor and clip so that they could knock off light on the lower third or the lower half of his subjects. He vignetted his light qualities, not with his brush, but from the light source itself. And so he would have this person move forward until this hand was basically covered by this post. And all of a sudden they'd come forward like, ah, right there, don't move. So now their face is still getting light, but their hand is behind the post. So the hand goes darker. These guys were giants huge giants. They knew so much about light mm -hmm. and contrast and feeling and emotion. And oh my gosh, we're hacks, you know? We're just hacks compared to those guys. And we get it done that fast. How long did it take them to do that work? Oh, do we have the patience for that? <laughs> Not me. If I don't get to see it pretty quick, I'm kind of done with it. <laughs> you know? Make sense? Let me real quick do a, uh, let me close this up and look at a Rembrandt here. So let's do this. Um, let me just bring your head back around this way a little bit more, right about there. And can you just push the hair back on your left side mostly? I just want to be able to see your left eye really well. Good, 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 good. Now just bring your head around right there. And I'm just going to move this around. It's kind of a challenge to see because of all the studio lights. And Tony, when you move the umbrella, do you re-meter? Oh, I re-meter all the time. Okay. Measure twice, cut once. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I have to. I, you know, I mean, you can get into a rhythm of knowing exactly where you are and, and kind of get away with it. Uh, I'm at eight and a third, by the way. You can kind of get away from it. But you, you know when you're in the studio. You know, you know how much you moved it. It's like, I think I moved it a third. And just something that we haven't necessarily talked about much, um, might have been easily missed. What power setting is the, the light itself on? Um, right now it's on three power, which is out of a possible five power. So I'm down, if it's 500 watt seconds, one stop down would make it a 250 watt seconds. One stop down would make it a 125. So I'm at 125 watt seconds, which is not a lot of light. And I'm still shooting up there pretty good. So we're doing okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you having bangs issues? Okay, here we go. Lean forward and bring your head around again, around, right about there. Let me just take a look. It's really hard to see this light pattern. Chin down a tiny bit for me. Down, 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 down. Right there. In your eyes right about here. Yep, that's it. Right there. Don't move. Woohoo. <laughs> so look at this. Now you'll see this triangle of light now. It's hard to see it wow. because, of, because of the uh, because of all the lights in the studio. But you can get the idea. And this is one of the things that Rembrandt sort of introduced. And, and, and he got known for it, and it's called Rembrandt light, but he really didn't use it that much. Um, you know, a lot of the cinematographers talk about, there's, there's, a, there's a guy named Vilmos Zygmunt, who most people have never heard of. But Vilmos Zygmunt is a, is a brilliant cinematographer that did, uh, he, he, was the, he was the DP on set for Close Encounters for Spielberg. Remember the scene where the little boy opens a door and there's that spaceship and it's backlit and he just gives you a chill. Zygmunt lit that. He lit that scene. And he always talks about this kind of light quality. And he always says, you know, the Dutch painters is who he studies the most. And he says, most people think that all those old artists use always soft light. And he said, not true. And he said, especially of the Dutch. The Dutch painters did that. They wanted that chiseled feature of the light to... to to delicately outline the features of a face. And that's how they would set that light. They would find the right time of day to paint, and they could paint for an hour, and then they had to stop painting because the light moves or changes.